In this tutorial, I'll show you how to transform a simple CAD model into a beautiful animated Pinda video using only presets, no external 3D software required. First, upload your model to Playground. If your model supports supported layer names like Metal01, Gem02, the materials will be applied automatically. If not, simply select your object and choose the material from the material library that appears. Next, select a suitable HDRI map for your model to set up the lighting environment. To enhance the look, go to Post Processing on the right panel. In the Tone Mapping tab, slightly increase the contrast and exposure to make your pendant pop. Since this is a pendant and we don't really need the ground, you can either remove it completely or adjust the height to make it look suspended. Now go to the Viewer tab. In the renderer settings, increase the scale. This improves the viewer quality. Select a material for the diamonds. Also, choose an HDRI map for the diamonds. In this case, I use a more natural black and white map without color reflections. Now for the exciting part. Go to our newly created stages. Select a chain. You no longer need to model a chain separately. You can add one directly from our library. In the picking section, under hierarchy, click on the main object name to select your entire model. Enable transform controls. You can now move, rotate, and scale your model directly in the viewer. I'll scale mine down a bit and move it up slightly. If you accidentally do something wrong, Control plus Z works in the program. You can always undo. Once you're done positioning, disable transform controls so they don't interfere. Now for the most interesting part, the animation. Simply click on GLTF animation and watch your pendant come to life. We also have other chain options and some of them support GLTF animation as well. Now let's export the video. I'll add two camera views. One looking from the left, one from the right. Increase the maximum duration in camera views to 10,000. Configure your GLTF animation settings as needed. In export settings, set the frame rate to 60 frames per second. If your video isn't rendering, this sometimes happens, go to the anti-aliasing tab. Under progressive, reduce the value to 4 or even 1. This will allow your video to render smoothly. And that's it. Your video is ready. Wait for the render to complete and for it to download to your computer. You now have a stunning animated pendant video created entirely with presets. Thanks for watching.